Lila Pons is a very popular and very successful social media personality who specializes in creating comedic content. And I know lots of people give her a hard time for her actions as a person, but I don't think that a lot has been said about her actual style of comedy. And a lot has and a lot also hasn't been said about her consistency. Because if you take a look at her content, she has a very consistent style. And I think it's interesting, I think it's worth talking about, and to illustrate that, I'm going to show you three videos of hers. I'm going to show you one Instagram video and two YouTube videos. And the Instagram video is going to be shown in its entirety, because it's a short video. And then the two YouTube videos, I'll show you the setup, and then I'll show you what I call the third act twist that she is a very big fan of, and you'll see across all of the videos. If you are looking forward to having a conversation about her comedic style and just looking at her content for its value, I hope that you'll stick with me and that we can have a conversation about the sort of content that she creates. Oh my god! Hi. Oh my god, I've missed you so much! I haven't seen you since Christmas! I've done so much this year! I've done more. Is this a competition? We're gonna do this again. I'm gonna win, okay? Bring it on! What did you do? Uh, I got blue hair. I got a tattoo! That's a birthmark. I speak Russian. Privet. Pull out Tam! Really, you're white. I graduated from Harvard. I met Taylor Swift. It's on. Well, I'm vegan. I can do a handstand. Well, I learned how to drive. I can give massages. Oh, oh. I got a stepsister. I lost my virginity. I won. Where's the father? My life is complicated. Do you want to talk? Yes, please. Okay. So, in this last video, the one that I just showed you, you got to see Lila create something kind of relatable and then incorporate a twist ending. That, in my opinion, is the perfect encapsulation of her style. It's what she does. She creates something that is either relatable or ha is kind of a parody of something else and then throws in a twist at the end. The next video I'm going to show you is a parody of something else. And I think it's interesting, but since it's a longer YouTube video, I'm only going to show you the beginning of it, so the setup, and then I'm going to show you the ending, so that way you can see what I mean when I talk about it being a parody and the twist that Lila is very fond of incorporating. Welcome to the Dr. Fee Show. Today we have a special family feud involving the world's most famous Instagram dog, Sugar Bee. Okay, okay, so we still haven't gotten to the bottom of who is entitled to Sugar Bean's Instagram account, but I have a family member who might be able to help. Please welcome Princess Olivia. What dog is this? Welcome, Olivia. It's a pleasure to have you. So what is this? What, what, I'm sorry, what? This is Sugar Bean's wife. Okay, it's settled. Princess Olivia is entitled to Sugar Bean's Instagram account. What? No, no, what the, wait, wait. Yo, I can just squish her. And not only that, she takes custody of your two children. What? Yes. Oh my God. I've noticed that on YouTube, Lila is a lot more willing to experiment. And I think that's because she doesn't feel as restricted by YouTube as she does by Instagram, and I think that's kind of cool in a sense. I don't really find that particular video of hers funny, but I do appreciate that she was willing to try something new. In fact, a lot of her longer YouTube videos are departures from her normal style of creating plausible, relata relatable content. And that one was definitely interesting, even if it wasn't super funny. And I know that a lot of the commenters also didn't find it hugely funny, although a lot of them did recognize her from YouTube Rewind. So I guess YouTube Rewind, at the very least for her, does give her a boost in momentum and in searchability. But the next video that I'm going to be showing you is also a YouTube video, and it's definitely more regular Lele style. It's more relatable, and it also has a twist ending. So it keeps with the pattern that's been established by her particular writing style. And there's me. I love my job. Wait, not him. This is me, the teacher. <laughs> classroom. You know, sometimes I wonder why the hell am I a teacher? I don't even like these kids. 
So you guys are probably wondering why a bad teacher like me still has a job. Just tell me what happened. You have to get rid of Miss Applebaum. She's not a teacher. I understand your passion. She's not a Spartan! School wouldn't be where it is without me. She leaves class before the students! You know what, Spence? I just got engaged. Congratulations. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be late! I can't Good be late! Class. No, you don't want to be late! Come on! Yeah, I'm not firing her. Well, this is why. I enjoyed the last video that I showed you. I recommend that you guys go and check it out. It's definitely more relatable than the other content that I shared with you from her. I found it to be funny. I thought it was very well produced. I thought it was fairly well written. And it was just an all-around enjoyable video, if you ask me. I thought that the twist ending was a nice little reveal. I thought it helped make everything make a bit more sense. And all in all, I just genuinely found it entertaining. And the same can't be said for the other two videos that I showed you. But I wanted to show you guys a good example of what Lila Pons can be like when she is at her best. Because I thought that was a good video. And I know that I said that I wasn't going to talk about the shady things that she does, or at the very least I wasn't going to focus on them. But there is something that I want to draw a lot of people's attention to that people haven't noticed, or at the very least haven't talked about. Lele doesn't like crediting child actors. And in order to illustrate that, I'm going to share two images of videos where there are child actors who play a pretty important role in them, and they are not credited, which is very frustrating. I personally suspect that the reason that she does this is because those child actors probably don't have audiences to share her content, but it's still extremely frustrating and I don't like that she does this because child actors contribute a lot to the sort of content that she creates, especially when she uses them, and a lot of her audience is made up of younger people according to what everyone has said. So it's weird that she doesn't work to support the child actors who appear in her content and who help make her content the highest possible quality. Not crediting child actors, especially when your audience is a fairly young one, is really shady. And it frustrates me that people are always willing to antagonize Lele, but they don't talk about that. I don't understand why they don't talk about it. I don't understand why they don't go after her for substantial, demonstrable things that she has a hard time doing. And it's very weird to me that more people aren't frustrated by this. It's really weird to me, especially younger people. Because since her audience is younger and she uses younger actors in her content creation, it doesn't make sense for her to not acknowledge them and for her to not credit them. Especially because that would undoubtedly give younger people not only more of a reason to watch her content, but also to help her create it. Ultimately, at the end of the day, she has created a social media audience. She has built a brand, and she's done well for herself. And that's admirable, but at the same time, she's also done shady things. And she is just a mixed bag of a person, like most people are. We can have better conversations about her, and we can talk about her intelligently. We don't have to rely on the same old things that people have been saying for a while now. And this has definitely been an experiment for me as a content creator. I'm definitely not used to splicing up content like this. I hope to get better at it over time, but if you enjoyed this, if you think that you have something substantial or something that I should know worth saying, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Have a wonderful day.